your last day? Yeah. Two people coming out of the ambulance in those suits. It is believed that one of those is Dr. Kent Brantley. What does that tell you, Sanjay? That is a, it's a good sign, medically, no question. A bit of a surprising one, Poppy, I'll tell you. Uh, you know, we had heard uh, some days ago that his condition had deteriorated, and then we heard that uh, he may have stabilized, but was still in serious condition, uh, walking off the ambulance the way that he is, obviously requiring a little bit of assistance. I think from a medical standpoint, uh, you know, bo bodes very well for him. And frankly, it's a little surprising based on, I think, what certainly we were expecting, what we had been told, and how he had been described. We also just confirmed a, a little bit Bit ago that even before he left Liberia, he was able to stand up and shower on his own, actually get into the shower and shower on his own. So uh, perhaps he improved quite a bit before his flight uh, actually here to the United States. Um, regardless, he is now here at Emory University Hospital. He is in an isolation ward. His condition uh, was still being described as stable but serious. Uh, and uh, looking at these images, uh, may maybe he has uh, uh, improved even since that time. He is going to be in this isolation ward for some time. Uh, they're going to start replacing fluids, giving whatever treatments he is necessary. And then, as you mentioned, Poppy, already en route to pick up one of his colleagues, also from Samaritan's Plus, Plus and bring her back to, uh, to the United States and Atlanta as well. You know, Poppy, I'll just tell you real quick, I know you've heard this, but, you know, this, what, what you're seeing here has never happened before. We've never had a patient with Ebola in Atlanta, in the United States, in the Western Hemisphere hemisphere of the world. So this is from a medical standpoint to scientific standpoint, certainly a first. And uh, this is how it transpired intentionally uh, through a medical evacuation program. Let's take you back to Atlanta in Georgia. And there you can see that is the ambulance carrying Dr. Kent Brantley. Now he is the doctor, uh, the American doctor who was infected with Ebola. We don't know if that is actually him walking.
possibly. We were expecting him perhaps to be on a stretcher or in a protective tent, but that could well be one of those figures, could well be Dr uh, Kent Bradley. That's Emory University Hospital in Atlanta, where he has been flown from Monrovia in Liberia for specialist treatment to try to help him.